Welcome to the Aqua Flow Crypto Lab. Here we are, guys, in October. We were expecting what is currently happening right now, and I have multiple things to show you. In this video, I will give you an update of the trigonometric analysis with the sine wave and the phi ellipse. Then we will have a look at the trend line chart. There is a specific pattern that XRP is following, and in this video, we will reveal it. And as always, we will dive into the moonshot chart. I like what I'm seeing right now. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, there are a lot of things happening in the crypto market right now. This video is dedicated to XRP and I will make a video about Bitcoin soon. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Here we are making creative analysis. So far they have been very accurate. If you want to show some support, give me a thumbs up and watch the video till the end. Now let's get started. You are already familiar with this chart. If you are not, I put a link in the description. On this chart, we have the sine wave and the phi ellipse. We know that these lines are pivot lines for XRP. And so far, every time we touch the sine wave and the phi ellipse in the current bull market, we have a strong bounce to the upside. Last month, I said that we needed to stay level headed. Why? Because we know that we are still above the sine wave. In August, we had a strong bounce to the upside and in September, we came to retest the sine wave. And right now, you see that the price of the sine wave in October is around $1 or 95 cents. And this is still the beginning of the month. But as you can see, we are starting to use the sine wave as a support. Okay. This is exactly what we want to see from XRP. We want the price to stay above the sine wave. And if we keep on using the sine wave as a support, we should break this previous high by the end of the year, as you can see. In addition, I wanted to show you something. If we take the all time high candle and we draw a line for the opening price, for the closing price and for the low price, we see that we have three major levels for XRP. For this level, as you can see, it was a strong resistance just right here. And in the previous month, we used it as a support and I like to see this. What about here? Look, we have a very strong resistance again, okay, because we had a strong rejection to the downside. And for this price, you see that we never had a full body of a monthly candle above this level, okay? Look, we pierced this level, but then we went straight down and then we stayed below it. Here, we pierced this level again, but we went straight down and we couldn't hold this level. And here it was the same thing. We went above it, but we got a rejection. So as the sine wave is going above this level next month, we know that we should see XRP going above this level pretty soon and we expect the price to stay above this level for the very first time. And if you see a full body above this level, then this is a very bullish sign for the future. I suppose you know what a body is. For each candle, you have a thick part and a thin part and the body is the thick part. So we want to see the whole part of the thick part above this level. Okay, I hope it's clear. If it's not, please ask questions in the comment section. I promise I will respond to you personally. That's all for this chart. Let's move on to the next chart. This is one of the first charts I showed you on this channel. 
If you want to know more about it, I put a link in the description. If you want to be bullish about XRP, the first condition you need is the price above the trend line. And at the beginning of the video, I said that XRP is following a specific pattern and I will explain what I mean by that. Let's take a step back. In yellow, we have the trend line and we know that sometimes we are below it, sometimes we are above it, okay? But if you pay attention to what's happening every time we are below it and then we are crossing to the upside, you will start seeing a specific pattern. For example, here we are below it, okay? Then we push to the upside but then we retest the line, okay? We couldn't hold the line and we went down. Here we are still, sorry, here we are below it, below the line. We crossed it to the upside and we went to retest the line again. We couldn't hold this level, so we went down. Here we crossed it again we went to retest the line we couldn't hold it right here and right here so we went down do you start seeing the pattern here every time we are below the line we go to the upside and then we try to test the line as a support if we can't we go down but if we can use it as a support we go up and so far in this example we couldn't use it as a support and we went down so you see that here we went down we used it as a resistance again resistance we went up and we did what we go to retest the very same level we couldn't hold it we made a low okay we used it as a strong resistance and then here we went up right what happened next? You can see that we used this line as a very strong support during this correction and then we made our all-time high. Let's continue. Here you see that we went below the line again. And what did we do? Look, we were below the line, we went up, and we went to test again the line. We couldn't hold it, so we went down. Here, we went again above the line. We tried to use it as a support. We couldn't hold this level, so we went down. Then we used it as a resistance. We went down, okay? So you see that every time we pierce the line, we go to retest the line. We pierce the line, we go to retest the line, okay? Here again, look, we pierce the line, we go to retest the line. We couldn't hold the line as a support, so we went down, so we made a new low. Let's move on. You see that here it was the same thing. We used the line as a resistance. Here we, we pierced it. We tried to use it as a support, we couldn't, we made a new low. Resistance, we pierced it, we came to retest the line. Here, for the very first time, we use it as a strong, a very strong support for 10 weeks in a row. And we made a new high compared to this high, okay? Then look. We went again here below the line, below the trend line. What did we do? We pierced the line and we came to retest the line. We used it successfully as a support and we made a new high compared to this high and to this high. And what about the current situation? Look, here again, we went below the trend line. And what did we do? We came up, we pierced the line, and we came to retest the line. So this is no surprise, guys. 
This is why you need to stay level headed. You need to analyze the price chart without getting emotional because this is the only way you won't lose your mind. So in conclusion, as long as we stay above the trend line, we are still bullish for XRP. Here we have a strong bounce to the upside. So this is very positive for the future. We know that the scene wave of the previous chart is pushing us up. Also, we know that the trend line breaking out of the critical level in blue was a very bullish sign for XRP. In addition, it was at the same time a brand new all time high for the trend line because we know that this level was critical for the trend line. We couldn't make a new high here. And that's why the price had to go down. And for the very first time, we made a new all time high for the trend line. And this was very bullish. So right now, what I want you to do is to draw two lines. This line, okay, using this level of resistance because you see that for multiple weeks we couldn't close above it and we have this level okay because we know that here it was a strong resistance and now we are using it as a support and right now xrp is ranging between these two levels Next, we will move to the moonshot chart. That's all for this analysis. If you have questions, just ask below. If you're a long time subscriber, you already know about this chart. It's very simple to understand. Every time we have a cross, we have a big event, either a sell off, either a moonshot. And right now we are waiting for a moonshot because we are using this line as a strong resistance and right now we are trying to use the yellow line as a strong support and right now we are struggling to do so and what i like to see is this candle we know that this candle will close today guys and when i see a big weeks like this below the yellow line it means that the bulls are defending this level, okay? They want the price to stay above the yellow line, okay? It wasn't the case here because we have a strong move to the downside and big weeks, but we see that the closing price tries to stay above the yellow line. And seeing a big week like this below the yellow line makes me very hopeful for the future. So that's all for this analysis. If you want to know more about this chart, I put a link in the description. And in the future, I hope that we will be able to get a strong bounce to the upside and to finally, to finally close above the green line. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to not miss out the next video. It's time to leave the crypto lab. Thanks for watching. Do not ever, ever be afraid to make new experiments. And if someone tells you you're crazy, just tell them. Time will tell.